actually um, can we like meet for lunch today we are going to talk about three things to avoid in a conversation that will make your communication skills more effective it goes without saying that good communication skills are critical to human coexistence. However, there are some off-putting behaviors and antics while speaking that can be quite costly during conversation because let's accept it that chances are that you may not even be aware of making these mistakes whilst in conversation. Does it pay off to avoid them? Absolutely yes, and the results are incredibly rewarding. As an image coach, my goal is to share this knowledge and this education to improve your self-image and your confidence. On my YouTube videos, I can only share small doses of self-improvement tips. But if you let me be your image coach, I will customize your one-on-one -on -one image transformation sessions personally. To work with me, you can fill out a form on my website and get more details. Let's begin today's topic with three things to avoid in a conversation. Welcome to Blush With Me. Mistake number one, avoid lots of filler words. Filler words are like, okay, so, you know, like um, literally, actually, basically, right? And here's an example. Actually, can we like, um, meet for lunch now cut out the filler words and try it like this hi can we meet for lunch this way the other person is absolutely sure about what you were saying and they treat it important and more likely the response will be clear and in your favor too here's the solution use a pause i want you to practice using a pause whenever you feel the urge to use a filler word but remember pauses between sentences should not last longer than about two seconds unless you're consciously pausing to let that information sink in or you want to create a more dramatic effect. Keep watching this video till the end because towards the end I will use all the three tips that I'm sharing in today's videos and show you an example of how you could sound if you apply all these three tips. And here is your mistake number two. Change your pace of speech. If you speak very fast then practice to speak at a slower pace because not everyone can keep up with your fast speech. When you change the pace of your speech, you train your nervous system to respond differently. Slowing down gives you time to breathe and avoid your body panicking. Your heart rate will also slow down. Your tense muscles will relax. A slightly slower pace of speech gives you more engaging tone and it helps effective communication. When we talk about effective communication, you cannot deny the importance of your voice. And while I was browsing for classes on voice training on Skillshare for my own practice, I came across voice improvement classes by TJ Walker. So Skillshare is an online learning community for the creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics that include illustration, design, photography, videography, productivity, styling, art, communication skills, music. Check it out for yourself because the first thousand of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get one month one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And trust me, you will find yourself venturing into variety of topics like I do. If you like watching my videos, then you will surely enjoy some of the topics on personal development, confidence, self-photography, public speaking skills, and many more on Skillshare. So I was telling you about the voice improvement classes by TJ Walker. He's a public speaking and media training expert. His classes are called voice improvement. You can speak with confidence. So in his classes, I learned something very different from what I had always heard, which is you need to lower your voice to sound more powerful. His opinion not just differs, but in these short lessons, he explains the importance of changing your pace and your pitch to emphasize different parts of the content of your speech versus speaking in just a lower voice to avoid monotone. Know how to sound your best 
every single time if you follow the tips in this course. The number one thing I've found people doing. They try to lower their voice to sound deeper and more authoritative. Here's the thing about the voice tones. You don't need a deep, deep, deep voice. What you need is a real range. Watch me trying this tip. So instead of saying, hi, I'm Parmita, let me help you speak confidently, versus saying the same sentence while changing the pace and pitch of the sentence. Hi, I'm Parmita, let me help you speak confidently. Each lesson is about one to three minutes long, or should I say one to three minutes short. Oh, so you can complete the whole class and learn a new skill, sometimes in a matter of just 15 minutes. Think about it, you have one whole month free trial. How many classes can you attend, explore new skills and deepen your current existing passions in one month before you get completely hooked to Skillshare? But remember, only the first thousand of my subscribers will get this opportunity. So it is time for you to start playing fastest finger first. The link is in my description. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I bet my audience will enjoy it as much as I do. Now for mistake number three. If you speak too slow, pick up your pace a little bit. You don't want to be perceived boring, less interested or less intelligent than you are. Try to increase your speaking speed without losing your thought clarity. Slow speech, just like fast speech, can interfere with communication. In this case, the listener has way too much time to process what you're saying, and this can lead to boredom, okay? So let's put these three tips into action and see how you can sound with or without them. You know, like just yesterday, I saw her email and I was like, um, literally going to tell you that she is actually like, perfect for this job, I think um, we should like reach out to her and basically hire her. Hmm. Instead, try it like this. I saw her email yesterday and I think she is absolutely perfect for this job. I want you to respond immediately and hire her. Next time you go to meet your colleagues or friends, notice if they sound and look excited to be around you or do they make excuses to escape having that conversation with you? Do you want to be the one whose company people seek and enjoy your conversations? If you want to become more engaging and not sound boring or predictable, then practice these tips. Now, how to practice them is something that I can help you with when you choose to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. In these customized sessions, I design your course and plan your weekly challenges and tasks that make it not just educational, but also entertaining while you're learning these life skills to become a better version of yourself. To schedule a complimentary call with my team, just reach out to me on my website. What do you want to see next? How to define your personal style or my first and successful attempt with intermittent fasting. I'm currently one week done with intermittent fasting and I've already lost about three pounds in one week. I am very excited to share this. If my content is something you would like to follow, then please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell icon you see next to the subscribe button. This will ensure that you get an alert on your phone every time I post a new video. Hit the like button if this video was helpful. Copy the link of this video and share it with your friends. You can follow me on my other social media platforms too, like TikTok, Instagram, I'm on Facebook fan page, and Amazon Storefront. See you again soon next week with a topic that you choose. So think of that suggestion and write it in the comments below. Bye for now, until next week, blush with me.